Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Good morning. We're in Split today. Let's go check it out. We're Karin and Jeremy, an average couple with average jobs and limited vacation time. When we take trips, we have one or two weeks, three if we're lucky, and we want to see and do as much as possible when we travel. Join us as we maximize our vacation time on mapping it. Now we're in Diocletian's palace, and this is the Paris style. The entire old town of Split was once part of Diocletian's palace, and you can wander from room to room and marvel at the magnificence of this ancient Roman structure. The red granite pillars and the sphinx lining the perimeter of the peristyle are from Egypt. Behind us is Diocletian's mausoleum built in the 4th century AD. After he passed away, Constantine took over as emperor of the Roman Empire, and he made Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire, and he decided to convert the mausoleum into a church. Diocletian was a Roman emperor in the 4th century AD. He built a giant palace here in Split as part of his retirement. This is some of the best Roman ruins this side of the Adriatic. This is so cool. This was previously the entrance vestibule to Diocletian's palace. It used to have a domed roof. It's gone now. If you visit during a busier time of day, you might be lucky enough to find traditional Kalapa a cappella singers here. It's very early in the morning. We were here last night and honestly, it was unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's maybe 7.45. There's very few people out. This is much nicer. Yeah. As you see, it's very narrow here, and when it's packed with thousands of tourists, it's not the most pleasant thing to walk through. Ooh, we're coming up to something. <laughs> Looks like a piazza, or whatever the Croatian term is. <laughs> here we are. A lot of birds here. Not as many as in Venice, but my sister would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even 8 o'clock. It's already hot and humid. Yeah. Sweating. Shows, uh, good sign that it's going to be really comfortable later. Oh yeah, it's going to be wonderful today. After wandering the empty streets of Split, we made our way to breakfast. We're at Cheery Beery Bella for breakfast. We devoured. It was wonderful. <laughs> what do you think? Very Game of Thrones. Yeah. How would you like this to be your basement? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Temperature wise. <laughs> oh, I know. We're in the cellars of Diocletian's palace. Better than the 90 degrees and humid upstairs. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> you know. Well, the dragons are a bit problematic, though, so. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want dragons in your basement, <laughs> would you? Not on a regular basis. Do you see the holes in the ceiling? Yeah. They used to toss sewage down here, <laughs> it was like their toilet. This place was filled to the brim. I was wondering why it was squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. The main hall of the cellar is used for many modern things, from book signings to fashion shows, but it's most famous for being the location where Daenerys Targaryen locked up her dragons in Game of Thrones. No idea. Uh, it involves toilet waste 
Oh gosh. It's leftovers <laughs> that have yet to be excavated. This whole place, this whole cellar, yeah. was filled to the brim with that. The garbage and waste that filled the cellars proved to be a treasure trove for archaeologists. Many artifacts were well preserved in the waste. We're walking on the Riva next to the sea. It's even hotter now, if you could believe it. <laughs> we're at Oya Oyo Bar, and we're going to do an olive oil tasting. In my hand is a professional olive oil tasting glass. It's blue so that you can't tell what color the olive oil is. They don't want to be biased by the color of the oil because green oils and yellow oils might have the same quality. We really enjoyed our tasting at Ouya and if you're interested in going, we recommend booking in advance. We're heading to a fortress on top of a hill about 20 minutes away from Split. Looks pretty cool. It was actually a filming location in Game of Thrones, which is why we're going. But also it has the added benefit of having amazing views, so we're very excited. to drive up that. Uh-huh. Um <laughs> that, 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 was that, 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 that might uh that may be the worst Google has ever done to us. Yeah. Google has had I kinda wanna see that road from above to see where it puts you. We got you to the side entrance for staff or something. <laughs> and we just got you to the edge of the wall. <laughs> That's what you wanted, right? You wanted the edge of the wall. <laughs> well, we made it to the fortress at Cleese. Amazing. A little bit of a hill to get up. <laughs> yeah, against all odds. We made it. Uh, Google wanted us to go some pretty interesting directions, but don't trust Google. We found a more major road to get to the parking lot, so. Never trust Google. <laughs> the Cleese Fortress has been around for centuries, and although it's not exactly known when it was first built, it's thought to date back to around the third century AD. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Just a cliff top castle is all, you know, no big deal. I like to keep it uh, simple. <laughs> very hot today. <laughs> Going to the fortress means very little shade, but there is a wonderful breeze and an incredible view. Check. So how do you like it here? Hmm. It's pretty nice. It's cool to be on top of like a ruined fortress. I mean, it's not super ruined, it's pretty intact, but you know, still. It's nice to uh, be away from the crowds of Split. There's still people here, but it's very spread out. The one downside is there's very limited shade, which is why I'm clinging to the wall. <laughs> is that helping? Yeah, it's helping a lot. <laughs> there's also like a bre this is like a wind tunnel here, so it's like free air conditioning. <laughs> Over the years, the fortress has been used as the seat of power for many rulers of Croatia. In the 1500s, Cleese Fortress was used to unsuccessfully defend Croatia against the invading Ottoman Empire. And in the 1600s, the fortress was captured by Venice and the Ottomans were pushed out. 
The fortress has been enlarged over time and is now an open-air museum that you can walk around and explore. And these days it's most famous for being one of the filming locations for Game of Thrones. Where are we? We're at the famous spot in Game of Thrones where they filmed in Marine. Oh, cool. Anything special about this place? They had some dragons that were attacking the city. Oh, there's a dragon! Ooh, Ooh. what is this? Mm. Little room. We were exhausted after a full day exploring Split and the Cleese Fortress, so we headed back to the Old Town for an early dinner. What did you get into now? An unknown pickled fish, probably. <laughs> so is it your favorite thing now? It's not bad. I got truffle and steak pasta. Mm. Dig in. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. What'd you get? Back risotto. Oh yeah? That's very good. It looks scary. <laughs> it's a little fishy. Yeah, so not, head, too, not too bad. It has fish in it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you think of dinner? It was amazing. <laughs> it's pretty good. Mine wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting, I don't even know, but it was very <laughs> good too. We were at Favola restaurant and wrapping up dinner. Now we're headed to Marion Hill for some nice views. <laughs> To Marion Hill. Woohoo! Woo. So, what do you think of Marion Hill? It's pretty nice for sunset. Yeah, the sun sets behind the hill, so you won't actually see the sun go down the horizon, but you'll see the golden hour hit the city, and it's very pretty. The hike to the viewpoint on Marion Hill is only about 15 minutes from the old town. Be prepared for a steep ascent. We stopped right at the beginning of Marion Park, but it's massive and has many trails if you want to explore further. Well, we're back at our Airbnb for the night, and apparently we have the best view ever of sunset. Check it out. This is insane. This view is ridiculous. It's even better than the hilltop view from Marion Hill, which is supposedly the best sunset view in town. Also, the birds here are insane. Well, sunset was pretty spectacular, so we're just gonna leave it at that. See you next time. Behind us is, behind us, behind us is Diocletian's, behind me is the mausoleum. Gosh. I got it, I got it. Behind me is... Sorry. <laughs> okay. Why did you go for longer? What did you just do? Attacking the castle. You attacked the castle. <laughs> oh, look, a dragon! Ah! Don't be alarmed. Okay, I won't be alarmed.
<laughs> you think? <laughs> Scary. Da 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 da